Hello everyone, welcome back to another episode of The Watcher's Academy. Wondering how to win a battle easily? Want to know how to build your team? Watch along today's episode to learn more. We've sorted the video into three essential parts to make it easier for you to find the information you need. Without further ado, let's get started. Part 1, Battle Basics. Victory Conditions. In WOR battles, two key elements hold the key to your success. Number 1, your primary objective is to protect the Soul Core, aka the base, from being destroyed by monsters. Number two, you must eliminate all monsters on the field. Fulfilling both of these conditions will guarantee you victory. In addition, the Soul Core can often withstand damage from several monsters before reaching its breaking point. To keep track of their durability, glance at the top of your battle screen. Monster spawning and movement. Monsters mainly spawn from spawning portals scattered across the field. When a new wave of monsters spawns, there will be a red line indicating the direction they are heading. It is essential to deploy platform heroes onto platform tiles to engage the advancing enemies. Additionally, we need melee heroes to block the monster's path toward the vulnerable soul core. Monsters may launch attacks from multiple directions, so make sure you pay close attention to the red line indicators to anticipate their movements and respond promptly. Deployment Cost Mechanics each hero requires a different amount of cost to deploy. At the beginning of the battle, you will be granted an initial amount of cost to use. As the battle progresses, the cost gradually regenerates at a rate of one point per second. Make sure you manage your hero deployment wisely based on the cost mechanics. For most battles, prioritizing deploying melee heroes first will be a good choice. How to deploy heroes. To deploy a hero, simply tap on their icon and drag them to the desired location on the battlefield. Different heroes can only be deployed in specific spots on the map, depending on their types and the layout of the battlefield. Each hero has a designated attack range, which determines the distance of which they can engage enemies. When deploying heroes, consider the direction in which you want them to face in order to optimize their attack range. In addition, it is crucial to time the release of a hero's ultimate. For example, wait for a large group of enemies to enter a hero's attack range before releasing their ultimate. Part 2. Team Composition Hero Classes and Their Differences In the world of Watcher of Realms, heroes are classified into five distinct classes, each with their own unique characteristics and roles in battle. Marksmen, mages, and fighters serve as core damage dealers, and healers play a crucial role in sustaining the team's health. Defenders are frontline heroes dedicated to protecting the team and absorbing enemy attacks. In certain situations, fighters can also assist defenders by sharing the burden of frontline combat. Building your team While heroes have distinct roles in battles, there are some fundamental combinations that can serve as a solid starting point for most encounters. Here, we'll provide you with a general arrangement for your reference. Three defenders or fighters, two marksmen, one mage, and two healers. As for the remaining two spots, feel free to adjust however you see fit based on the heroes you have and the stage difficulty. While this suggested team arrangement provides a solid foundation, it is not a rigid rule. Feel free to experiment and adapt your team based on your preferred playstyle. Hero Factions Within the realm of heroes, some hold the prestigious title of Lords in their respective factions. These Lord heroes possess unique abilities known as Lord Skills, which can greatly benefit their faction members. Take Ain and Barut, both Lords of the Watchguard, as an example. They can increase fellow Watchers' basic attributes while also triggering a powerful buff, Blessing of the Light. This buff periodically increases all Watchers' damage and healing multipliers. The more Watchers in your team, the more frequently it takes effect. You can have up to two different Lord skills active during each battle. Part 3. Recovering from Lost Battles When challenging raid battles, there may be instances where you encounter difficulty clearing a stage or fail to achieve a perfect 3-star victory. But don't let frustration consume you. Try the following strategies to improve your chances of success. Number 1. Train your heroes. Make your team stronger. For details on how to do that, make sure you head over to our episode on Beginner's Progression Guide. Number 2. Take a closer look at the monster introduction for each stage. Build your team based on the kinds of monsters you'll need to face. If you are facing heavily armored units, make sure you deploy more DPS mages. Check out the provided picture for more information on which types of heroes excel against different monster types. Number 3. Adjust your deployment tactics and the timing of ultimate releases. 
When you are facing extremely powerful enemies, instead of allowing them to approach your defense, try sending out strong heroes to engage them first. Additionally, strategic timing of skill releases can be crucial. Save skills from more powerful enemies to maximize their impact. Don't underestimate these subtle changes, for the devil is in the details. To wrap up, here's a recap of what we've explored in today's video. That's it for today's Watchers Academy. If you find this video helpful, make sure you hit the like button and subscribe to our YouTube channel. We look forward to seeing you in our next video. Watcher of Realms.